I am Top Windermere Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country, Orlando's number one real estate company. We're at 4624 River Gem Avenue, Windermere, Florida, 34786. Here in Summerport, Summerport Phase 5. And the purpose of this video, some videoing into the sun, is to give you what you can't see. If you look at the very best pictures online on Realtor.com, TruliaHomes.com, Redfin. How do I know? Because if you've seen those pictures, I'm the one who took and posted them. So what we want to do is we want to get a feel for what the neighborhood is really like. And a little post-hurricane cleanup still to do. Get taken care of this week. And one of the nice advantages, the many advantages of this house is we've got the golf course right across which is like having your own park in your front yard it's an extension of your front yard that you don't need to take care of you don't need to spray the lawn you don't need to mow it you can just come out here and have some peace and quiet do a little grill action if you'd like and of course we are on the golf course Golf course is very well maintained. They were just spraying for mosquitoes a couple of minutes ago. Got a bike rack. All of this with your house right there. There's not too many houses that can say that. So now we're across the street from our subject property. Let me give you another view of the golf course. That is prettier then a picture. Want a little bit of privacy? Don't want any neighbors? How about having this for a front yard? People love living here in Summerport. The schools are Keens Crossing Elementary, Bridgewater Middle School, and Windermere High School. The elementary is only 2.3 miles away. Very close. And for some people it helps if we kind of look and see like who are the neighbors. So you can see that the neighbors also are affluent, have beautiful houses, and they take good care of them. Right there. This neighborhood was built in 2006 house was built in 2006 it's not in a flood zone just in case you're noticing or wondering look at that so nice to have that across the street we're back in front of the house beautiful park that is some curb appeal five bedrooms five baths Two car garage, but wait, one car garage bonus. That's three car garage total. 3,373 square feet. And the total slab is much bigger at 4,549 square feet. Those are lemons that grow about the size of your head by the time we're done. Got a tree that's a hybrid grafted on. We've got lemons, almost ripe, and kumquats. Bet you've never even eaten a kumquat. That's because you don't eat them, you eat the skin. That is some kind of medicinal tree. And that's a fig, as in the parable of, does the fig tree have any figs, said Jesus in the Bible. And there's your figs on your fig tree. Italian cypress, which nobody has. And a nice, private, easy care backyard. Of course, plenty of room for a pool if you want to put one in. Most people just want the privacy. This unbelievably nice 
hedge fence, like something you find in South Florida. Look at that. Nice porch as well. We'll go in in just a minute. So we are at the entrance. That's designed so you can open it up. And it's screened. Got extra parking here. Of course, both places have door openers. Nice big entry. Taxes are $4,152 a year, which is very reasonable. And look at that. Welcome home. Beautiful living room area. Got a smoke detector that is getting fixed today. So it'll be accompanying us with a little beeping. Formal dining room, just like everybody wants. Got carpet, as you can see. It's in really good shape. And then the second main living area. It's the center of the house, right here. Nice bay window. Long, long living area. I think we call that a butler's pantry. Lots of light, plantation shutters. That's the regular times 1.0 view. Am I making you dizzy? Not as much as actually filming it, spinning around. There we go. Beautiful. Plenty of room for a huge table there. Lots of living room furniture right there. And this is just a little part of the hallway under the living room. And look how wide this is. This tile is beautiful. Spotless. The place has just been painted on the inside. And smells like fresh paint. And we've got five bedrooms, five baths. This actually could be another bedroom. It's designed more for an office right now. But if you've got so many kids, you need that sixth. We are in the master bedroom, the grand overlook. There's your master bedroom. And there is your landing. That is a nice shot. Of what it looks like when you buy this house, your friends and family come over and say, you have arrived. All right, one of the smaller bedrooms in the front. That is not a shabby view right there. Looking at that park, the water, the golf course, big walk-in closet. And a bathroom way over here in the back corner of the house. I think that's bathroom number two that we've seen. Another bedroom. The shutters, do you know how much that costs to get that on every single window? All right, we've got the Jack and Jill bath. Two bedrooms number four and three. Jack and Jill go right there at the double six. Bedroom number three. See again, everything looks brand new. The roof is new, just done a year ago. The AC was done in 2018. The electric's current. We've got a whole house generator. 
Live here and you're guaranteed over a generation of worry-free living. Just live here and keep up with the landscaping. Another big walk-in closet. For exercise, you could just come and walk in all the walk-in closets. And now again for the master suite. That's the soundtrack to a vacant house. The beep, beep, beep of the smoke detector, which will be fixed. All right, this place is so big, it's hard to video it all. So you've got two sinks for the mom and Jack and Jill and the dad Jack and Jill, big tub, Jack, Jill, and the kids could all fit in this. That is good looking. You've got your throne room, of course. Right there. Got a huge walk-in closet. Want to see more? Contact me and I'll send you a link to the full video. This is nice.